The Jumbo Shrimp of Dire Straits by Kristen and Kevin Collier. It was said that the Port of Dire Straits is akin to a lobster trap. Once you get in, you can't get out. No one knew this better than old Captain Luther. With great despair he spoke from the dregs of his heart. One tiny shrimp, our catch for the day. How will we keep the creditors away? Bald Bruno held up a coin. This is our wage, he grumbled. It's all I have, Captain Luther replied. I can barely make payments on the vessel. Then we must all leave this place, Crewman Hans said despairingly, for there is no hope here. Captain Luther hung his head. An omen rustled at his feet. Before we pull anchor, I ask you all to pray, for when it seems that hope is lost, God will make a way. Captain Luther fixed his eyes on a story in the Dire Straits Gazette. A jumbo shrimp the size of a ship. This could be our way out of Dire Straits. I don't know, Bald Bruno mumbled. If this be true, it could be dangerous. The creature would be worth a fortune, Ivan said with glee. Perhaps we can capture it. Captain Luther scratched his scruffy chin. We'll take the risk to the devil defiant. T'was valiant David who slew the giant. Encouraged that this would be their rescue from dire straits, the SS Hope Be Gone left port with her crew with jumbo faith and steadfast determination. Captain Luther and his men challenged the snarling seas. For days and many perilous nights, they trawled the bottom. With nets in tow, a huge tug brought hope, but they did not know what they would haul in the boat. T'was not the jumbo shrimp at all. Those men fought fierce, and oh, they fought with great glee as fighters do. And soon they had beaten back that old octopus, heaving the creature over the side of the hope be gone. Rations ran low, and when it seemed dire, they held on to hope the crew would not tire. Many days passed, and the nets proved empty. As Captain Luther watched the dolphin and its mate frolic in the sea, he prayed to the heavens above. Lord, help us, he cried, from the heart of his soul, for truly I know you are our only salvation. That frosty cold night, all squishy and wet, pink feelers reached up through the net. A vast and a hoy, the sailors did shriek. Tis the beast terrible, Bob Bruno declared. As legend proclaimed, she's as big as a boat. Oh, Lord, help us, Captain Luther did pray. Then onward he charged, made bold by the Spirit. With a weapon in hand, oh, Luther tried to spear it. Then in an instant, a resounding smash and a crash shook the great sea. That monster's tail sliced through the old hope be gone. And soon, yes, her hope was gone too. Sorrow filled the good Lord's heart as he watched the sailors prepare to meet him. With unending grace, he commanded that beast same as he commanded another sea creature many years ago. Darkness turned to light. Captain Luther winked his eyes open. He felt land beneath him as he coughed, and he gurgled. We made it, me boys. 
The good Lord has washed us ashore. Hallelujah! The men cheered. They spotted their Goliath returning to the sea. The renderer of their salvation had set them free. In the midst of paradise, for the good Lord will fill the desires of your heart. He will wash away all despair and deliver you to a place called hope too. The end. Crewmates.